So now that we've talked about some of the key factor methods in Project Reactor's monoclass, let's turn our attention to some methods that perform transformations. You'll see that there's a, a bunch of these different transformation methods on the monoclass. So this is just part one of a, a continuing series of transformation methods and operators. The transformation methods work by transforming values and or types that are emitted by a mono. And we're gonna start by talking about one of the most important transformation methods, which is the map method. And it, I have the icon here, the, the image of a, of a transformer that's changing from one shape or one type into another. It's just a metaphor for what a transformer operator does. So we're gonna talk about the map operator, and this is used to transform the item that's emitted by the mono. As you can see here, it applies a synchronous function to transform this item. And this is kind of interesting because with Project Reactor, this was actually built after Java 8 had come out. So it uses all the Java 8 functional interfaces, things like function and supplier and so on. So this is actually a function that you would find as a functional interface that's part of regular Java 8. So they use that in Project Reactor and it's being used here as the type that's passed to map. The map method can return a new mono that emits the results of the transformation. And it's important to note that you can transform the item in a couple of different ways. You can transform the item by transforming its value, say doubling it or subtracting something from it, or you can also transform its type as well. So it can go from one type, say an integer, into a different type, like say a string. So those are the different types of transformations that can be performed by the map operator. And we'll see that map has a very important role in a lot of the reactive streams processing. Here's a very simple example that builds on what we've looked at in the previous part of the lesson that talked about factor methods and when we talked about just. If you recall, we had used the just factor method to take an unreduced big fraction and then reduce it and then what we're going to do here is we're going to take the result of that, whatever is emitted from the reduced big fraction that comes back from just, and we're going to go ahead and call map on it. And we're going to pass in a method reference to the big fraction colon colon two mi mixed string transformation operator. And this is going to basically take a so-called improper big fraction and turn it into a mixed fraction. So if you had 18 fourths, it would turn into four and one half, for example, and it would give you that string back. You can find the larger example in the link at the bottom of the slide. And we'll actually walk through this example before we're done with this particular discussion about monos. There is, not surprisingly, a map method in RxJava's single class that works precisely the same way. You can use the same syntax, you can use the same method names, you get the same behavior. It's just you replace mono with single. So that's a good example of equivalence between these two reactive streams implementations. In some ways, the map method is a bit like the then apply operator that's defined as part of Java completable futures. So if you're familiar with Java completable futures, there's the ability to start some computation that's going to run in the background. In this case, we'd be reducing this unreduced big fraction in the background by calling supply async. And then the result that comes back to that, which is a completable future when it completes, we'll then go ahead and apply the big fraction to mixed string method to go ahead and convert that improper fraction into a mixed string. The main difference between completable futures and what we're seeing here with Project Reactor or RxJava is that completable futures are always going to be running asynchronously. Whereas what we've looked at so far for things like RxJava or for Mono, with Project Reactor is, in this particular case, this is all taking place in one thread of control. And that has to do with the semantics of just, which we talked about in the factor method uh, discussion earlier. And so we'll come back and we'll talk more about this when we get a little further along in the video. So that's the end of our discussion about the very simple but powerful and ubiquitous map method, which is a key transformation operator that's defined in Project Reactor's monoclass.